We had Flair and Becky versus Bianca and Sasha. And this was one of those matches where it was like... Vince said to everyone, or they said to Vince, we, or whatever. We, we we can't we can't beat anybody, so let's just no worse. Be... Let's put together a scenario where, when it's over, you don't want to see this match at all. It's Crown Jewel. So first, it's supposed to be Bianca and Sasha, and they can't get along, and then Flair and Becky can't get along, and the match hasn't even started, and this huge brawl breaks out. And the people who are supposed to be teaming with each other, like Sasha's pulling Bianca's hair, Charlotte and Becky are fighting. They fight, and they fight, and they fight, and they fight. And finally, all the geeks run down to break it up. And this leads to uh, Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville coming out, and they say, we are not going to tolerate this tonight, they say. We are not going to tolerate this. You will get into the ring, and you will have this match. So they go to commercial, and in fact, they do have the match. But then, after four minutes of nobody getting along, with I guess there was a brief period where Bianca and Sasha were tagging, but then they just started fighting. The referee just throws the match out because everybody's fighting with each other. Yep. At which point, Sonya and Anna Pierce did not come out and say, we are going to give these people a match with a finish. They just let it go. It was horrible. I actively turned me off to the idea of seeing this match at Crown Jewel. I don't care. I hate storylines like this. It was it was horrible. Bad match. Bad finish. Well, everything about it was bad. Every everybody was fighting everyone. That was the story they wanted to tell. But yeah, real. I mean, the match was like a mess, but it wasn't like um, it wasn't like they were like missing spots. It was just like everybody's fighting everyone. But but. Yeah, really, yeah, it was a bad finish for sure. Just, uh, you know, I mean, the idea was, like I said, they didn't they didn't want to beat anyone, and this was the way out, is just throw it out. We had the Mansoor Ali segment, and then the main event was Big E and Drew McIntyre versus the Usos. And uh, you'll never guess, once again, we have two partners that are having problems. It's Biggie and Drew McIntyre. They do the match for a while, but then at the end, as everything is going all right, they start blind tagging each other, which pisses each other off. And then finally, they get into a fight, and the two partners are fighting outside, and the referee starts counting, and he counted both of them out of the ring. So we got another match where they didn't want to beat anybody, and so we got a shitty finish, and McIntyre ended up laying out Biggie with a Claymore kick as the show ended. I mean, McIntyre worked his ass off as he always does. Usos did. Biggie did. I mean, the yeah, match the action, itself was good, but my the, the, God, what a finish! Yeah, the action. The action was good. I I did think that like watching watching those guys not get along after you know the watching the women's match do the same thing. It felt like like you know. You're shooting the same angle in two different matches. And, and the two Dude, it wasn't matches. even like one opened the show and one ended the show two hours later. These two matches were literally in the same hour doing the same gimmick. Yep, 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 agreed. Um, and the other thing is, at least with the women, it's like one baby face and three heels. So at least it makes sense that pretty much everybody hates each other. But like Biggie and Drew are baby faces, and they always yeah, have they're, gotten they're along, baby faces, and they but shook baby hands. Faces. But they're baby faces who are setting up a match with each other. Well, yeah, so, but like the story is, they both have gigantic egos and they're unable to work together. Yeah, but like, okay, so the, how well, are these the likable people? But the, well, yeah, but, but the thing is, is that this started last week, and it was um, it was McIntyre who did it first, and so when when Big E did it, he was just getting you know he was just getting retribution for what McIntyre did to him last week. So it made sense for him to do that. And then McIntyre got mad at him for doing it. And, you know, I mean, it, that was the idea of it was fine. The count out thing was like it was weak because when you're watching, it, you see it being set up. But it was done in a way where, you know, you just know that it's like uh, they're like, you know, what I mean, like it's like they could have done that, you know, and then have the Usos win the match in the ring. Like, you know, but let's say Drew punches him punches Big E and then they pin him but you know they probably sat there and go oh we don't want to be Big E we don't want to be Drew so there you go we, we, we'll do a count out 
So that's Rush, everybody, and uh, literally nothing, by the way, built up on the show for SmackDown on Friday as they go head-to-head with Rampage in the final 30 minutes. So whatever their big plan is, no evidence of that plan today. Well, I mean, you know, plans Brock Lesnar being there, rare Brock Lesnar appearance, and, you know, um, Banks and Lynch is still a big match, but after tonight... Who cares? I don't know. It's like, uh, yeah, tonight didn't help it any, but it's still, it's still big names. I don't know how big that. I don't know. It doesn't feel that big. Lynch is. is it doesn't feel that big because we know we're not going to get a winner, and if we do, it's going to be some sort of not. somebody we're, ran in or some yeah, whatever. Yeah, it, it could be somebody like like uh, Bel Air comes out and screws one of them or something. But um, I think that like uh, Banks probably needs to be a baby face and she's not lynch is a baby face but but they book her as a heel so it's kind of a weird i mean there's there's stars they're still stars but um it's kind of a weird dynamic that match you know especially with lynch because it's just you know whatever they're doing i mean like i can watch and go yeah she's playing heel but i also can listen and go like the crowd you know she can like heel on the crowd and they'll boo her and then 30 seconds later they're, they're gonna cheer they cheer her anyway so it's just like you know people don't want her to be a the people want uh lynch to be a baby face and i really don't understand why um you know especially now why they turned her but i guess the idea is is that uh you know they felt that they wanted her to do a program with bel-air and you know and she wanted to go heel obviously is the, the biggest part of that and in a program with Bel Air, um, you know, Bel Air probably shouldn't be a heel right now. But still, Becky's so much bigger of a star. She shouldn't have been a heel, but she, and, she should, and she should not be a heel. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.